Wait, here's another version of that. How many men have you ghosted in your Oh shit, blind dating uh uh five girls. Let's watch that. Probably too many to count. <laughs> too many to count. Yeah, but I might not ghost you. Might not ghost me. <laughs> oh dude, this is gonna be incel cannon fodder if they're if that's the way they're speaking. So my name is Garrett Brown. I graduated college a couple years ago and I'm currently working on an app to help out some charities. I do value. Bro, what's going on with fucking Zoomers and Millennials? I feel like that's like half of the fucking population that Jubilee finds is always like, yeah, what's up? I'm uh, Darren McDaniels and, uh, you know, I'm a DJ for, uh, I'm a DJ for, for blind children with autism in nicaragua that's right i've been touring the world it's like how do you make money dude what the fuck is going like that's not what what are you how yeah man it's fine like i get to travel the fucking world dude that's right i'm fucking djing tunes for them real helpful when are they going to find someone who just works at Target? Yeah, literally. Like, hey, what's up? I work at Target. That's, that's what I do. Are you mad younger generations are becoming better people? First of all, 90% of these fucking 501c3s are literally just like bullshit, okay? So, shut the fuck up. Uh, they're becoming better people. Yeah, dude, totally. Women who can dress, you know, not up to standards, but as long as they're comfortable with what they're wearing and they feel good what they're wearing. <laughs> Yeah, I want to I want to make like a bunch of these fake jobs like, yeah, I started a 501c3 to get into Yale that helps homeless people find fly sneakers. According to a study conducted by my 501c3, but there's no basis in real evidence or anything like that. Homeless people have a much better chance at, you know, finding a new job if they got some fly ass kicks on. I mean, that's all I look for, honestly. My style right now is uh, D minus TikTok star. So you only give yourself a D minus? I'll do C minus. I'll do C, I'll do C plus. How about that? We'll do that. Okay. All right. So we have a wide variety of some personalities here. I'm liking what I see a lot. You guys are setting me up very well right now on some blind dates. So number one, what's your name? My name is Liz. Liz. It's ridiculous. Those shoes are ridiculous. Get nice to meet, nice to meet you. I'm Garrett. Are we wearing this as an everyday shoe or is this a dress up shoe? Yeah, this is an everyday shoe. I'd probably wear this to work or on a night out with the girls. What does a night out with the girls look like? How crazy are we getting? 10 tequila shots. 10 tequila shots. All right, so I'm getting blacked out, but hang out with her. So that's good to know. <laughs> it's okay. I'll take care of you. Oh, there we go. Music to my ears. Number two. What's your name? Chloe. All right, so those dunks right there? Those, the left of me, those are dunks. These are Air Force, are um, ones. All right, so do you consider yourself to be a fashionable person? I'm more of like a comfortable street style type of person. Okay, so you're active on Depop? No. No? <laughs> no. All right, so contestant number three, there's the dunk girl. Yes, Dunk hello. girl, do you have a name? I'm Jackie. So you must be a Depop girl. Unfortunately, no. Man, I'm just, I'm just whiffing right now. Do I know anything? So what do you consider your, your style to be like? I'm more into like the Japanese lifestyle called wabi-sabi, and it's like embracing the imperfect. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm excited to learn a little bit more about that. Number four, you're hiding your shoes. Is that for a good reason or a bad reason? You know what? You know what? Let's not judge straight <laughs> off. This isn't the main part of the outfit, you know? Where are you from and where do you get your fashion taste um, from? So I'm from Toronto, which Ooh. may explain why I may not have brought the best shoes. <laughs> I'm very into fashion, just not shoes. So okay. Are you a big? That's a uh, Toronto girl, dude. She's from the six, bro. That's the hood. You know, Drake's hood. She's running through the six with her woes, dude. I love Canada girls, you know this chat. Automatic dub for me. Drake girl from Toronto? Oh, no, 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 honey. <laughs>
Oh, no Drake girl. I don't know about that. I'm, I'm a big Aubrey fan, that's for sure. Last, oh, we have a nice pair. Bro, this is the most Caucasian person, dude. Holy shit. She was hiding down there. I'm Kaylee. Do you like to wear... And to the people that say like, oh, you said the same thing. Like, no, I was making a joke about it. He's like unironically just that. He is the person I was making a joke about. Colorful shoes. These were actually a gift. I would not have like picked them myself, but I like I like them a lot. So you dress more neutral when it comes to colors and just clothing in general, or? I like neutral shoes because I feel like colorful shoes don't go with every outfit, so. All right, well, I'm liking what I'm seeing a lot. Man, the number one scares me. You know, the 10 tequila shots. <laughs> she seems like a very wild card. But number one does have- Number one was literally the only one who vibed with him too. Because she hit him with the unconditional, like, I'll do anything you want. You know what I mean? She literally was like, I'll, I'll take care of you. And that's the only reason why she's still in the game. Because otherwise those shoes are fucking garbo. I'm sorry, dude. The difference, you know? A lot of the shoes are similar. Toronto is hiding her shoes. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to have to let go of Toronto. Oh, shit. Foolish. Foolish. Oh, no. <laughs> I... You're kidding. Oh, my God. <laughs> Get fucked. Dude, he literally is like, wow, you are hot. L. What an L. Get fucked, dumbass. You do not disrespect Toronto, dude. I love that it was real. It was so real. He know he like the moment that she fucking moved from beyond the curtain. He was like, "Oh no!" Wait, I gotta run it back. It's so great. Look at this. Oh no! <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. It's warranted. She's very pretty. You're kidding, Garrett. I'm Nikki, nice to meet you. All right, well, I'm very sorry. Bro, he's red as fuck right now, dude. Look at him. He's hot, not a Drake fan, even though she's from Toronto. She's got everything, except for the shoes. The shoes are whack. Your outfit is awesome. Thank you. What are you, like 6'5"? Come on six now. 6'1". You're not 6'1", you're absolutely I'm six not 6'1". I'm six, You're just short. <laughs> okay. So She just fucking bodied him, dude. What the fuck? Oh my god. I God, I love Canada. It's not even a joke. Torched him, dude. It's her it's her right. He eliminated her. She's allowed to do that. Never mess with a Canadian girl. <laughs> Bro, she's 6-1. That's crazy. You see what happens when you see what happens? They turn on you just like that, right? So tell everything you want to hear and they'll turn on you. All right. Let's go. Thanks. <laughs> See you soon. Okay, this dude has literal fucking incel energy, though. Bro, what the fuck's going on? Oh, God. He's like... See you soon, hopefully. <laughs> oh, my gosh. My heart's breaking right now. But also, we don't know who else is behind there. I can't get too committed to one. I'm liking what I'm seeing. A lot of streetwear oriented. Okay, so number one. I mean, don't you get hot wearing that? I mean, we're in California. I don't know how you can- That's like, you how know. you, you know, keep your body looking good. You just sweat them. I love that they just are sitting there as he's like cooming over the fucking first girl that he eliminated. I mean, she dodged a bullet there. Straight up. Throughout the day. <laughs> so when you say you'll take care of me, what does that, what does that mean? You know, I'll turn you on your- Bro, this is literally not about the clothes now. He's just horny. He straight up is just like, yo, so what's up? You said you're going to take care of me? Talk to me. Tell me about that. He's cute. Yeah, he's a good looking guy. But it's classic. He's a good looking average white dude. And that's why... Sorry to say this, but he hasn't really developed much of a personality.
and it shows because if he wasn't on the fucking uh the other side of the curtain none of these girls would give him the time of day side so you won't throw up <laughs> after the night of drinking you know give you some soup <laughs> some soup and you'll some turn soup. me on my side so i can throw up on the floor instead of the bed well i'll put the trash he doesn't like that can there so i don't have to clean it up you can take it out oh so i'll take it out in the morning okay that's perfect yeah in the morning okay yeah <laughs> moving on to number two be honest with me when i ask you this question okay how many men have you go that toronto blonde girl does not follow me on insta why did you have to fucking why do you do that why do you lie like that? It's not even funny. It's like my, that's like the least funny fucking chat meme. I swear to God. Sit in your lifetime. <laughs> Probably too many to count. Too many to count. <laughs> yeah, but I might not ghost you. Might not ghost me. You seem like a nice man so far. All right, well, I'll take that. I like the whole charity thing. Oh, you're hyping me up too much now. All right. <laughs> what does your relationship with your dad look like? My dad? Yeah. I'm a big daddy's girl. He's like my best friend. Big daddy's girl? Yeah. Number three. I wasn't expecting those pants. They look very good. I like them. They Thank sit you. well. What, what kind of pants are those? They're corduroy. It, it's actually overalls. Oh, okay. So it's a one piece up top? Yes. Why do you think you're single right now? Just truly just have not met the one. The one? Okay. So you're looking for the one, the one right now. I mean, as you get older, you have no choice. <laughs> Number four. So tell me a little about yourself. What do you want people to think when they see your outfit? I always say like I dress like elevated casual. Like I want to look put together, but I want to look comfortable and like I could fit in in like any scene. And then what'd you say? Dude, I, I, I at first I thought it was like just joking. Like, haha, I'm an incel, lol. And now I feel like it's like, no, I'm just, I'm actually an incel. You know what I mean? He, he's just like, he just keeps saying, there's a lot of red flags, dude. Say you were from? I'm from Kansas City. Now, do people in Kansas City normally dress like this? Like when I go home now, I definitely get some like looks my way, kind of mm -hmm. some disapproving ones sometimes. Based on what I know, unfortunately, number one scares me a little bit. The drinking, the she knows I'm going to be throwing up, so we're <laughs> drinking a lot. And I'm trying to get past that. You know, I'm trying to do well for myself. He just didn't like the way she looked. Oh, hey. Hello, I'm Liz, nice to meet you. Garrett, nice to meet you. I'm sorry we can't go out clubbing. And it's okay, you know. I'm your very beautiful woman. Thank you're you, dressed you're very, very beautiful well. as well. Thank you. And I'm taking another L today here, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Bye. 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 All right, there we go. See, now I'm starting to picture more what they look like. I get an actual understanding of their personality a little more. So number one now, what are your red flags in men so I can make sure that I do not fall into those? You have to be funny. I'm really sarcastic and I feel like people take it as mean sometimes, so you have to get my humor. Will you make me cry on a date? Probably. I love toxic women. That's, that's my thing right there. <laughs> So number two, the overalls. I love yeah, them. Yeah, thank you. I think it looks great. I love the brown. If you could pick one thing about your dream guy that matters the most to you, what would it be and why? Literally just like being open-minded and open to trying new things. What kind of things do you think you could introduce me to? New food, new music. I'm really into Indian food at the moment and like Mediterranean and Ethiopian food. Oh, right on. Last one. I'm loving the blazer. Thank you. It screams, yeah, I'm here to make some money. I'm here to do my thing. Get out of my way or I'll spit on you. And I love that. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> so what is our first date? Oh, they're like, it actually feels like he's just not into it. Looking like. We could pick up some Thai takeout and then go somewhere really pretty and have like a sunset picnic by the ocean. Number three is dressed the best. She has like 
She's dressed like she's a fucking like Japanese fashion influencer. We could play a game, like a card game or something. Just like a really chill, but like plenty of quality time. I'm absolutely with that. So do you consider yourself a big- To be fair, they're all like, they're all dressed pretty well. I mean, the overall girl has like a decent, uh, they all they all have decent- uh, Nature style. and like beach kind of girl. I would consider myself more mountains. If I went on a hike with you and I fell, and I hurt my ankle, would you be able to carry me to safety? Oh, yeah. Mm, that's basic. But yeah, he already lost in round one. Yeah. Right. Fireman carry over the shoulder. Fireman carry? All right, so we got a stronger right there. <laughs> I'm with that. Ooh. I thought I had some more. Oh, dun, no. Dun, dun. It's just so hard because I like all of them. They all have great outfits and I've been 0 for 2 so far. So that just makes me feel even better knowing that I'm gonna mess it up again. So unfortunately, number two, the middle one will be the first one that I'll be letting go today. I can't look again. I can't do it again. I can't do it. Oh, hey, yep, another L. Are you kidding me? Garrett. Jackie. Nice to meet you. you. I'm so sorry for letting you go. You look absolutely great. Hopefully in the future, good. you can put me on a- Bro, he shook her hand. He does not think that he fucking, he does not think that that's an L. Again, racially motivated. <laughs> oh! oh, I agree. <laughs> Bro, he shook her hand like it's a business deal. Look at this. All right, thank you. Thank you for coming on to the show. Some more of that food yeah, and some music. Sure. All right, thank you. Ooh, the last person I will be letting go is, drum roll please, do you have any drums in here? Unfortunately, number one, I will be letting number one walk today. Yeah, her outfit was like really basic. If that's come on, oh my, are you kidding me? I'm so sorry. It's okay. I love it's the nice bucket hat. You. you were hiding you. that under there. Come on now. It was nice meeting you. Yes. Good luck in the future. Thanks. And stop being so toxic, right? I'll try. <laughs> I'm sweating doing this, man. This is heartbreaking. Me too. I don't want to do this. I think she's cute. Can we? Hey. <laughs> Garrett. Kaylee, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. It's finally nice to see you. Yes, you as well. I love the outfit, it looks Thank great. You. I love you. the change. You're like how I like to describe myself, like elevated casual. Like you got the YSL and you got some clean shoes, but you're still like super comfy looking. And like, you're, I know you're comfortable in what you're wearing, you know? Absolutely. All right, perfect. See, that's the vibe I was trying to give off. She read it perfectly. <laughs> We're thinking like each other already, so. Oh, there'll be some IG swap today, yeah. that's for sure. Yeah, I don't give my number until the second date. It goes. <laughs> I just want to go back to round one. What? I don't want a bunch Yo. of random dudes to have my number. Bunch of random no, dudes? How many dates are you going on? Not that man? many, but you know what I mean? <laughs> if I go on like one date, I don't want this dude to have my number forever. Okay, I mean, I don't know. I think I caught her slipping. I guess we'll see. I like her a lot. She's got a nice sense of style. She's cute. Yeah, Drake fans be like, I think I caught her slipping. He got exactly what he deserved. Yes, I agree. She seems like a very nice girl, okay? She seems like she has a great personality. I like her sense of style. I don't know why Chad is just like making a big deal out of that. All right. I just want to see this one more time. I just want to, this was the funniest thing that could have happened, dude. What a dumbass, dude. Oh, no. <laughs> You're kidding, Gary. Oh. Dude, he got like whiplash, dude. Oh no! Oh Jesus Christ! What do the comments say? He only seemed genuinely disappointed by that first cut. Yeah, he did. He literally did. I have to see what this girl's Instagram is and if she follows me or not now because of you. Thanks, Chatter. Good job, Chatter. Oh, 
Oh shit, she does. I'm just playing, dude. Of course not. That was a joke. 